Hello, class receiving teachers and students. Hello, Mr. Baromi. Thank you. You may be seated. All right. Teachers, we are still on the same strand with this nature of living things. Our sub strand, sorry, our strand living things, sub strand nature of living things, we're still on the same outcome 7.2.1, identifying, identify and compare basic structure of living things and how they are functioning in their environment or how they allow them to function in their environment. Can someone tell us what we did in our last lesson? Thank you, John, the first hand up to give us a brief on what we did in our last lesson. Receiving students, you may also tell your teacher what you did in your last lesson. What did you look at about one particular animal, which is fish? Thank you, John. Ready? In our last lessons, we, we know about glorious gills. Gills, yes. Can someone, in one sentence, tell us about gills? Okay, Isaac, we have Isaac. Opening on the sides of a fish head through which water flows out. Okay. Any other functions about the gills of a fish? Why does it allow water in and out through the opening? One important function. Then we'll go back. Begley, thank you. Begley. Gas exchange in surface of an aquatic. All right. It allows just exchange of an aquatic animal or animal with gills that lives in water allows exchange of gases. All right. Now, did we all have breakfast this morning? Receiving students in class. Yes, we had breakfast this morning. Can someone tell us what they ate for breakfast this morning? All right, I'll tell you myself, I ate one piece of scone. Okay. Just half, half of the scone and a cup of water this morning. That's what I ate. Someone would like to tell us what they ate this mo for breakfast today. Joshua, thank you Joshua. Bread. Bread. Anyone else? Evelyn? We'll have Evelyn. I ate cold rice with a <laughs> cup of tea. <laughs> okay. What about dinner? What did we have for dinner? Anyone would like to tell us what he had for dinner or she had for dinner? Receiving students, you may do the same. We have Cooper. Alan. Clement. I seem to have all the boys. What about girls? Okay. Cooper. Okay, Alan first. We'll have Alan. Dinner or breakfast? Cup of tea with scone. For breakfast or dinner? What's the dinner? For dinner? Okay, some people have light dinner. We have Cooper. Rice and chicken. Rice and chicken. Okay, last. Then we'll have the last one, Alan. Uh, sorry, Clement. 
I had a plate of rice with chicken stew. Now, from the food that you ate, receiving student, which of the food was plant? Which of the food that you ate was plant? Okay, you know what you ate, so if you know it was a plant, which part of the plant did you eat? Which part of the plant did you eat? Okay. So, which part of the plant did you eat for breakfast? Which part of the plant did you eat for dinner? I'll give you one minute, uh, just two seconds to discuss with your friend. If you ate scone, which part of the plant did scone come from? If you ate flour, fried flour, which part of the plant did they make fried flour for you to fry your flour and eat? <laughs> okay, five seconds with you and your friend. Please discuss. And then give your answers to your teachers. The food rice rice is a seed of a plant right thank you so you ate the seed any others <laughs> nola greens greens is a um, leaf of a plant so it was the leaf that she ate, greens. What kind of greens actually? Many greens, vegetables. Cooper? Tea, tea leaf. Tea comes from a part of a plant. So which part of the plant did you use? Leaf. The leaf. Okay. <laughs> Melin? <laughs> Malin, sorry. Malvin. Coffee. Coffee is made out of seed. Seed of the coffee plant. Okay, good. Joshua, last one. Yeah. Tomato. Tomato. Fruit of a plant. It, which part of the plant is it? Fruit. The fruit. Very good. Okay, thank you. Right. I hope receiving students you have given the same of which part of the plant you had for dinner or breakfast. Teachers and receiving students, class, our topic for today is, our topic for today is what are shoots? Now you have brought, you have brought along with you your plants. Let's have a look at a couple of plants, pot plants I have here in front. We have a very tall plant here and a very short one. If you have your plants there, thank you very much. Have a look at your plant also. I'll give you two seconds or a few seconds to have a look at your plant. And you decide which part of your plant. Do not remove from the container. Leave it, leave it as it is in your container. And which part of the plant do you think is the suit of the plant? <laughs> Have a look at your plants. Which part of the plant is the suit? The whole plant. The whole plant. From the tip of the plant to the tip, tip of its roots. Which one is the suit? Okay. 
Okay, good. Francis. Francis, let's have Francis. Where do you think is the suit? Suits are a small plant coming out from the ground. Yes, okay, suits are small plants coming out from the ground. Which part of the plant is coming out from the ground that is the suit? See from your plants that you have brought. For example, if you say, for example, this is a young plant here, which I have with me. Young plant with me. Okay, Francis says that it came out from the ground. So, from the tip of the plant to its roots below, which part is the roots? Ah, roots, the shoot. Shannon? Edge of the leaf. Edge of the leaf. Leaf, good, thank you. Anna? Oh, sorry. Clement, and we have? Shoot are the one that come out of the stem. Once they come out of the stem, yes. Good answer. Okay, good answer. Momoru, then Kalen. Momoru. Tip of the plant. Tip of the plant, yes. We call it suit also. Kalen. Suits are the outside part of a plant. All right. Let's have a look at this diagram. You have your plant there. You look at your plant. This is a picture of a a picture of a flowering plant. Picture of a flowering plant. When the plants come out, grow from the ground. We call that the suit. Some of you are saying the suit. Yes? Okay. Sometimes some of you call some people call this the shoot. What we look at the whole plant. Where do you think is the shoot? What do you think is the shoot? Where is the shoot? From which part of the plant to which part of the plant? From this tip to this middle part or from this tip to the flowers or from the tip of the flowers to the ground level or from the roots to the first leaves is the shoot. Place this on the correct place. Dollar. Tell us where, which part of the plant to which part of the plant is the shoot? From the tip to the flowers, please draw. Okay. From that's Nola. Okay, Nola's group. No, that's not the flowers. That's a group where they think it's Clement. Let's go, Clement. Any other groups? Let's have two more, and then we move on. Evelyn? Oh, 
from here. Okay, go. Here. Okay, go. Okay. Thank you, Clement. Clement's group. Evelyn. Okay, we'll have Evelyn. I just look at your plant. What do you think is the shoot? Group. Okay, we have three groups that gave us, thank you for your and others raising hands, but we'll have three groups, then we'll move on. We have Nola's group who pointed from the leaf down to the, from the tip of the leaf, well, under the leaf, first tip, down to the flowers is the shoot. That's what the group have discussed and come up with. Clement's group as drawn, as shown here, from the next node, the node, from the base, the stalk of the flower, to the tip of the bud, which is the shoot. Evelyn's group is where almost reaching, where, where it almost meets the soil, up to the very tip of the plant is the shoot. Okay. Good. After this activity, we will have a look at what is the shoot. Right, our activities. Let's move to our activity. Activities. Have a look at that we have discussed what? One, we have discussed that structure of the simple plants. Two, on your table, in your workbook, you do not have a workbook, right, complete the table on the structure of the plants. I'd also refer to your plant that you have brought and let's have a look at the table. Okay. Instruction number two, complete your table. This is the table that you will need to draw. Receiving students, get this table done. The table is the table. Table for you to do. First column, you have all the parts of a plant, simple plant, functions of a plant. Right, you may discuss with your friend in your groups and list down the functions of each of those plant, plant parts. students you may also do the same have a look at your plant the parts of the simple plants are listed on the table you may discuss with that and list their functions down
you should discuss with your friends. It is good to discuss. Look at your plants in your pot and discuss what the function of each of those parts of the plants are. Let's see which groups are finished. Okay, we'll start our answers from the far end. Terra, Terra's group. Terra's group, then we move to the front. Michael's group here. Bagley. Okay. The first three groups that I've called, you give us the first three answer. The next three, Daisy's group. Um, Clement's group. And Evelyn's group. Those are the next three answers. Right, let's see our first, our first part of the plant on the table. First part of the plant on the table, roots. Tara? Roots takes in water and nutrients from the soil up to the plant. All right, water, nutrients. Any others? Function that the root has. Wind. What other functions does the root have? Roots take the water to help the plant to grow. Okay, very good. Thank you for your answer, Winnie and Win and Tara. Let's have a look at some of the answers that we have. Okay, first answer that we have, function of the root, I hope you can see this, is absorb water or take up water and mineral salt from the soil. So, that is one function. Next function, it anchors, the, anchors plant in the soil. I mean, it holds the plant in the soil. So the ploy, plant does not float around in the air, if we don't. And or do not get carried away by water or Third function is storage of food for some plants. Some plants store their food in their roots. So that is one function of roots. Our next part of the plant, let's go through stem. Stem, next group, Clement's group, a member in your group. Give us what function does the stem do? The main part of a plant that holds the branches and other part of the plants as well. Good. Main part of the plant that holds the plant and other parts of the plants as well. Shannon, anything about stems that you would like to add on? Shannon? Stem supports the weight, weight of a plant. All right. Good answer. Also support the weight of the plants. Okay. Let's have a look at some of the answers about functions of the stem. Okay. Stem support and holds the weight of the <coughs> plant. Stems also transport water 
minerals and salt, or carbohydrates, which is the food for the plants. Two raises lift for plant to get sunlight and air. So the third function raises flower, flowers also for pollination. Next group, all right? If you have that receiving students, good. Uh, we'll move to the next part of the plant, which is the leaves. Bagley, your group. Daisy, Daisy. Flowers produce seeds and fruits. Oh, Daisy's giving us flower. Leaves. Okay, we'll come back to Daisy. Leaves. We are on leaves. Policia. Is to make food in form of carbohydrates by photosynthesis. Photosynthesis. Okay, thank you. All right. That is leaves. Any others? Felicia? Any others that you would like to add on, or is that what you have for your group? Okay, let's have a look at that is a function. Let's have a look at the functions that we have for the leaves. There are three functions, main functions of the leaves. One, the first one is make food, as Felicia has said, through the process of photosynthesis, which you will look at later in our later lessons. Secondly is exchange gases gases, carbon dioxide, and oxygen. Okay, a third function is trap sunlight. So, which should have been first, they trap sunlight and use that with other elements to make the food for the plants in their leaves. Okay, flowers now, we'll go back to Daisy's group to give us the functions of the flowers. Flowers produce seeds and fruits. All right. Flowers produce fruits and seeds. Right. Flowers. Flower. In a flowering plants, some plants produce through sexual reproduction in flowering plants. So that happens through pollination, and some of these flowers become fruits that we eat, okay? And some become seeds that we also eat or we replant to make, grow new plants again. Next group, in charge of giving us the functions of buds. Buds, Evelyn's group. Buds is one of the growth point of the plant. Okay, good answer. Thank you. Any others that you would like to add on? All right. Uh, let's have a look at the answers that we have for what buds funds and so. If you look, have a look at your plants closely, you will see that there are small bulb or yeah, bulb-like. shoots coming out from the branches or the leaves or at the tip. Those are the buds. These are mainly to increase the size of the plant. So at the tip of the plant, of your plant, you will see the very small tip that is the bud. That increases the height of the plant, if you see on the tip. Sometimes you see it between the branches, branches or the stalk of a leaf. That also gives a new stalk or gives a new growth of a branch, for a branch of a plant. Okay, right, the next group to give us the, the functions of the next part of the plants. Let's move on. Nods. Next group is Nod, to give us the group, Alisa's group. A stem from which one or more leaves grow. 
Right? Let's go to something else. Okay, Clement, Clement wants to add on. Thank you, Clement. Uh, Cullen, sorry. Nuts grow into new branches and leaves. Nuts. Okay, thank you, Cullen, for the answer. Let's have a look at what we have for the function of nodes. Right. Again, if you look closely, it is the joint that is between the not between that it is the swollen part of at the end of the stalk that joins the leaf to the stem of the plant. So if you look at your plant, you will see the node is just below. It is the bulging part of the end of the stalk attached to the plant itself or the stem of the plant. So have a look at your plant in front of you and you will identify the node of the plant. Right, so this function is to join the leaf or the branch to the main stem of the plant. Lastly, Bugly. Internodes are branches, branches that comes out from the main stem and helps helps the helps and balance the plant and protects the plant from bending. All right. Good. Thank you. That was a good answer from Bagley. Let's have a look at what we have. So it also does the same function as the stem, that is to support the whole plant. Internode is between the two nodes. Let's have a look at the diagram first on our, that we had a look at first. So between the two nodes, one first node. This is the. F there's one node here, and this is one node here. So between these two is the internode. So it is still part of the stem that holds the whole plant and supports the whole plant. Okay. Now, where? Let's go back to our diagram here. Where do you think is the suit? Where is this? Which part of the plant, which, yeah, which part of the plant that these three groups have named is the shoot? Is it either Nola's group, Clement's group, and Evelyn's group? Is the shoot? Whose group? Whose group is? They think is correct. Clement's group. Evelyn's group. Why do you say or why do you think is Evelyn's group correct? What makes you? Because the whole part of the plant. <laughs> the whole part of the plant is. Okay, thank you, Cullen. Anyone want to help add on to Cullen what Cullen said or has a different answer? Malvin? Clement's group. Clement's group. Why do you say Clement's group, please? Because the top of the plant that is going up is soot, so it's going up to form a new leaves and upwards and going up. Thank you. Very good answer. Any last ones? When a plant grows out, when a plant begins to grow, when a plant begins to grow, what do you call when this plant begins to grow from a seed, let's say? What do you call it? We call it, we call it, call it the shoot. 
So which part is the shoot? Which part is the shoot? This whole part here. When it grows up, it begins, begins to grow leaves. And at the top, there's a little bud there. So this shoot grows and becomes a mini plant and then be starts growing. As the bud increases, bud grows, it increases the height. Or starts growing from here, develops branches. So this becomes your... So this plant is... This part of the plant, this section is the... The shoot. So on our diagram, whose group got that correct? So this is a picture of a big plant. So Evelyn's group figured that this one, and the whole plant here, is the shoot. So that is the shoot. Mm -hmm. You got it? Bud, bud of the plant, the tip of the plant is the bud, or here, in the corner between the leaf stalk and the stem, also increases the height of the plant or develops new branches or leaves. The bud also increases the height, and so the plants grow bigger. All right, second part of the activity, which you will do in your own time, which you will do in your own time. Take note of the second part of the activity. You will divide the plant part, plant that you have with you. Divide the, that same whole plant that you have, divide that into parts to all members. So one person get the roots, one person get the leaf, one person get the stem, one person get the flowers, one person get the seed. Break that up. Your next instruction for your next activity is you sketch the plant part. Sketch the plant part. That is your second activity which you will do with your groups in your own time. Recently students, if you have taken that down with your teacher, that is your second activity that you will do. Right, let's have a look at our summary. Our summary, first summary, please take note quickly. Next summary point. Right. Our key phrase for today is Thank you, Isaac. What is a shoot? What is a shoot? Okay, we looked at shoot. So what is a shoot? All right, thank you. About still about shoots. We looked at plant shoots. So what is a shoot? We looked at plant shoot. Thank you. Our next lesson for our next topic for the next lesson, teachers and students, is hairy, sticky, smooth, or shiny. You may keep, use the same plants that you have if they're kept in the pot. Your materials that you will require for the next lesson. Charts, markers, pictures of plants or plant parts. If you have pot plants, you can provide pot plants. Sorry. All right, with that, thank you, class. Thank you, receiving teachers and students. Amen.